So if we adopted presidential system of government from America, why can't we adopt ranching from America? Of course, we have done that in Benue State here, and you have seen that it has succeeded. So this question of erasing those who oppose to full animal. I also heard about the press statement issued by the presidency when the governor of Ondo issued a seven-day ultimatum that the Fulani should leave the forest. The presidency came out swiftly and said that it is wrong for him to say that. But when people are killed in Benue, killed in Ondo, killed in Ekiti, killed in Taraba, killed in Jigawa, killed in Zamfara, killed in all these places, but this helps men, and they come out. There is one Fulani social cultural organization called FUNAM who came out and claimed responsibility and said that they are going to do more. They will mobilize Fulanese from all over the place to come and take over Nigeria, that it is their ancestral land. Presidency did not say anything. But they quickly ordered the arrest of a, an activist who stood up to speak and to work against his people. What else will you do? When you see your people being killed, you see your people's farm being raised down, being eaten off by herdsmen. What else will you do as a patriotic person of that community? What else will you do? It's just the same thing. The World Terrorist Index have destroyed Fulani as the fourth terrorist group in the world. But up to today, they have not cared, the federal government have not cared to declare herdsmen as terrorist organization. And they have gone for that to form Mieti Allah, Katon Hore, Mieti Allah, Katu Breeders, Mieti Allah, this one, Funam, that one. And federal government is romancing with them. And federal government comes out to defend them. Anything time something happens to them, but when they cause pains in the lives of other people, federal government will keep quiet. Federal government have gone ahead to ban iPod. Why can't they ban? What did iPod do that they went ahead and banned them? This one that Fulani are taking over everywhere under the watch of the presidency and they're not saying anything. What is the meaning of that? What are they trying to say? When you talk, they will come after you. Some people are afraid in this country to talk because if they come, EFCC will come after them. ICPC will come after them. Security agencies will come after them. They did that to me. And I went to court against them, and I won. They did that to me. They tried to impeach me. But by the grace of God, I survived. So these are the issues. So why do you need to go and talk of that man must be arrested? How about the Fulani men that killed people, remove people's eyes, give people gradual killing? Have you made any attempt to arrest them? All these things are all over the place, on social media. And that is why I'm calling on Mr. President to act fast. Otherwise, it will be late, and all of us will be consumed. We may wake up one day and we'll discover that we don't have a country called Nigeria again. And the only way to do it is for our leader, the president, to come in and act fast and behave like a president who is for everybody and is for nobody. But the way the presidency is behaving now is a contradiction to what he told us and the oath of office that he took. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updating.